The debate for the respect and promotion of LGBT rights has sparked controversy in the country, and while some are advocating for such rights be respected, others think different, providing a religious and cultural justifications. The government has, however, made it clear that they have no plans to legalize such practice in the country. The president released out a statement asserting that his government did not sign or give any consent of signing to legalize LGBT in the country. Mohamed Kebe, a member of the Gambia Youth Group, is part of the majority that does not want LGBT to be legalized in the Gambia. We've been ignoring the fact that this has been going on because it wasn't a law, but we really couldn't take it. When we, when we have the person we look up to to sit in an international meeting or somewhere that everybody is asking questions and there's a question from one of the journalists there asking him about what does he have in store for gays and lesbians or let's say LGBT group or family in Gambia and he answered saying Gambia has no problem with gays and lesbians. In short, and I quote, he said, he said that in Gambia, like, there is equity in our country, which means you're putting, uh, it is debatable that they have a right, an equal right with us. Right now we're going through a, um, a pandemic, you understand? And if the government really took us important, would have really told the international world that our target is coronavirus and we say no to LGBT. Mohammed further adds that homosexuality is already being practiced in the country. In our world. Today in the Gambia, a lot of youths going through uh, tummy ache and killing themselves also that there is a little bit about gaze in them. According to Kebe, LGBT is not accepted in any culture or religion. Forget about religion. Our society and our cultures and norms and values don't accept that. If you go to Christianity, they don't. Islam, they don't. I'm a Muslim. The Gambia Youth is a group of young people who advocate for the voices of young people. Reporting for Paradise TV News, Awotore.